Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how we can take a background color and filter it out of a video clip. So for instance, we have uh, an effect here where stars are showing on screen, but we actually want the underneath clip of the guy talking to be able to show on screen while those stars are floating around. So basically we're removing the black here, though I'll also show you a way that you can do it with any color. The first way only works with black. So the first super quick way is to have a clip selected where you have the black background, go to the inspector in the edit tab, and then go down to composite mode and change it from normal to add. What this is going to do is wherever you have a, a light color, basically anything that's not black, it's still going to show through on the final video clip. But when you have black, that's the equivalent of no color, the black background simply does not show through. So by doing that really quick effect, we can have the white stars still show on screen. However, if you don't have black in the background, you're going to get some pretty mixed results here. So another option which is slightly more involved is to actually take a clip and go over to the color tab. So for the second method over on the color tab, we need to first select the area of the screen or the color that we want to filter out. And you do that with the qualifier tool. Uh, it'll have the picker selected by default. You just take that and you select the color, in this case black, but it could be any color really, green if you have a green screen, or pink if that's the color that happens to be a background. And then you can go over to the key tab to make sure that that selection has been made. So on the key tab, you should see any area that has that background color will be white, as in it is being selected, and the other areas where you do want those to show through in the final video output should be black. Then we need to go over here to the nodes uh, section, right click, do add node, corrector node, and we're basically going to invert the selection from the first node. So we do that by dragging the circle to the circle and the triangle to the triangle. And what you're going to have is basically the black or the other color that you're trying to filter out should not show through in the second corrector node. You should only see um, everything else. So in that case, that would be this white color here. Um, the Twitter icon, the name, yada yada. Then to finish it up, we have to add in an alpha output, as you see here, this little box that has the smaller blue box inside of that. So we add that by going right click, add alpha output. So finally, we take the circle and put that to the green output, and the triangle and put that to the alpha output. And what you should see immediately happen is that the selected color in the first corrector node is filtered out of the background. So basically, we have just the text showing through, just the text and the icon showing through. But if you have a person, then it should be just the person showing through. Or if you have a visual effect, like we did in the first part of the tutorial, uh, it should be only the effect that shows through. So that's a couple of quick ways you can filter out a background inside of DaVinci Resolve 14 to show through a person or video effect. I hope this tutorial has been useful for you guys, and I will see you guys in my future video content.